Okay, so we are doing page 28 of Algebra 1A Credit 2. Um, and all the previous pages should have prepared us for this part. Uh, we're talking about independent and dependent variables in each situation. So a company charges $1.25 for each pound of freight shipped on its trucks. How much is the total charge? So um, the dependent variable that goes up and down is the total charge charge and that is dependent on, on the weight right so to, if it's heavier presumably you're going to pay more if it's lighter you're going to pay less so um, the function phrase 1.25 times the number of pounds is the function phrase there you write it as an equation like this y equals 1.25 x where x is the amount of weight so for each pound you multiply that by 1.25 so as function, as uh, as a function, oops, sorry, I don't know why I wrote three, just randomly came out. As a function, you write f of x equals 1.25x, where x is the um, amount of weight that determines uh, how much you're going to pay. So question number two, Sherry's car can travel 32 miles in each gallon of gas in her fuel tank. How many miles can Sherry travel? So the dependent variable of miles depends on how how many on on gallons of gas in her car gas right if she doesn't have a lot of gas in her car she's not going to go as many miles so the function phrase is um, 32 miles per gallon which is um which is actually a pretty decent um, uh, gas efficiency there so um, the equation is going to be y equals 32 times x, so to, where x is the um, the uh, number of gallons, uh, and the function notation is going to be f of x is equal to 32 miles per gallon x. Okay, here we go. This next part, um, I'm going to let you read that explain uh, 1b part yourself. Let's go ahead and do question number one. A plumber charges $70 per hour plus $40 for the call. What does he charge for four hours of work? Use X to represent an hour's work. So here we have an additional thing here that you should pick up on the explain part. We have what's called a constant or um, it's also called an initial value because um, when the plumber shows up at your house, um, even if he's worked zero hours, just just for being there he starts off charging you forty dollars so anyway the dependent variable is is um <coughs> sorry the dependent variable here is the um total cost of the job uh based on how many hours worked hours worked so if he if he takes his sweet time and takes longer and he actually makes more money um, but anyway uh, the total amount that we are going to write here um, uh, let's just call this uh, f of x that's the total amount because uh, uh, we just want to write a generic equation for it so we're going to leave it as f of x uh, the variable amount that uh, that will change based on amount of hours worked is $70 per hour x the fixed amount like I said just for him showing up he gets uh, $40 just for showing up so the function that we get to write is just that what we just wrote f of x let's put all that together 70x plus 40 uh, and then the solution oh, I guess so we want to know how much does he charge for four hours of work well we just plug four into that so f of four equals 70 times four plus 40. Let's go ahead and solve that. F of 4 uh, equals 70 times 4, which is 280 plus 40, uh, which ends up being $320. So he, for four hours of work, uh, the plumber will charge you $320. Okay, next question. <clears throat> Tyler is a new barber and wants to predict how much he can earn. So this is where, if you've ever asked the question, when am I ever going to use this? Um, this is where algebra tends to come in handy. 
Um, so he recorded his earnings for the first 30 days of work. After 30 days, Tyler determined his earnings is equal to the function f of c equals 25.75c, where c is the number of customers. So um, based on, uh, depending on the number of customers, you multiply that with 25.75. And, um, and so this way, uh, as long as Tyler things about how many customers he's bringing in per month per week or per year or whatever he can actually project how much money he's going to end up making based on the last 30 days of um uh, 30 days of uh you know of this experiment that he's been running so uh, what is the, f the value of f of c at f of 100 we'll just plug in 100 into that equation so uh, we're going to write f of 100 equals 25.75 times 100 and if you punch that into the calculator you should get um, 2575 because that decimal place moves over twice so um, the value uh, after 30 days based on 100 customers he should make $2,575 oh that's what question 3 is with 100 customers he will earn $2,575 Okay, based on the context, which statement is true? We're going to select only one. Um, so we have A, B, C, and D. And so, um, let's see, his earnings, we're looking at choice A. His earnings, d C, depends on the number of customers. Um, let me see, his earnings, C, uh, depends on the number of customers. Mm, I don't know about that one. Let's, let's, let's keep trying the other choices there. Uh, his earnings f of c okay so one is definitely not true because it's not in function notation right first of all c is not earnings right c is the number of customers so it's not a <coughs> b uh, his earnings f of c so that's better determines uh, or depends on the number of customers c yeah that that's definitely true um the next two are probably not true because we only were asked to select one but let's check it out anyway the number of customers C depends on his earnings F of C. So F of C, uh, the number of customers is not dependent on earnings. The number of customers is actually the independent variable, so it's not C. And lastly, D, the number of customers F of C. F of C is not the number of customers, um, so that is not the right choice. Uh, so B is your only choice there.